Hey scouts, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, welcome back to another great episode of City Skylines. Today we will be using the Los Demonios map by Al, a great map, and I'll show you exactly why in a moment. For now, stay tuned, and let's get started. And so I say, let's get started. At this time, our first project that I'd like to work on is building a bridge that's actually worthy of our time for God's sake. I'll speak about this creation, this map, by Mr. Owl in a moment. Thanks, text message. Anyhow, for now, yeah, let's get a bridge going. And you know what they say about time lapses. <laughs> They're a pretty good investment. And right now, I think buying some stocks is a good option. And now you've probably got some questions, and I've got answers. If you don't have questions, well, enjoy the bridge regardless. We'll keep the bridge to the right for now, as we'll use it for another project. You might be asking why I've left the bridge at such a tall height. The answer to that question will be shown quite soon, but to answer your question briefly, this entire area will be turned into an, a harbor slash water processing plant. It's a large area, and underneath the bridge will probably be more water. So, you know, we haven't, I haven't decided anything just yet, but that's what I'm thinking right now. We'll come up with some drafts, make some plans, show you those drafts, and we'll see how it looks. For now, let's actually begin by cutting down all the trees and making this look nice and shaped. Let's make this a time lapse too. Moving the old buildings and the old road, let's make a new exit that looks amazing. Just right for our needs. Straight. 
and maybe facing the right direction too. Amazing. With that said, now it's time for us to focus on flattening the land to sea height level to make this all even, straight, and how it should be. As soon as we clear out the land, or actually make it flat, we'll go ahead and get rid of all these rocks. This is the area that I'm looking to work on for right now. It may be expanded later on to just the very edge of the river. For now, let's continue working on it, and we'll talk to you in a minute. I am taking a small moment to reflect upon an almost complete piece of the harbor. It already includes roads, seawall, of course, sea rocks. The harbor itself is also of course there and almost fully operational. It still needs some services, but we won't be concerned with that just yet. There's still plenty of work to be done. Here you can see in more detail the actual, well, detail that we've made to it. Seagulls are always included. Stay tuned. I'll continuously update you on the progress that we make as we make it. For now, enjoy this B-roll. I have dug a big hole, a big useless hole, you could say. I mean, look at this hole, it's so useless. Now admire this hole, it has road in it, road, yes, 
So what I've done here is I've created the most useless road, quote unquote. My fingers are making that quote unquote air sign. Dog, my gang sign. Regardless, this is gonna be the newest way out for our harbor vehicles, right? From our trains. If we're gonna have a train station here, I doubt it. But definitely boats. This will be an, a fast way to get into the mainland without having to get on the bridge. You remember that old decrepit bridge on the right side of our brand new beautiful bridge? Yeah, this is what it will connect to eventually. In the meantime, please enjoy this wonderful view. It looks really like a postcard, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm trying to say here? Wait, stop it. BAM! Just did it. Start the time lapse. Alright, 
And so this plot of land actually now looks somewhat recognizable. I hope you guys are pleased with the prog progress that we've made thus far. We've now got an actual canal and for once an actual hole that is somewhat symmetrical. And it actually has an exit point, this canal that we just built. I did of course have to somewhat edit the road, I mean not the word edit, but bend and construct it in a way that really would allow us enough room to fit this canal. And of course this road here does still require some more things to make it look more legit. This road here overall I just think it's kind of wrong so let's remove that right away. It's not straight enough and I've got a better idea for it and overall this hole is gonna need some changes. So let's go, let's start a time lapse um, and let's uh, make this hole even more symmetrical. Oops, let's get back. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I want to say guys, thank you so much for sticking with me on this first episode of Lost Demonios Map. I do appreciate the fact that this is um, this is something that can happen. I think this is a really good map. I think Al has created something that everybody will enjoy. And not only that, I mean, Al, I, I know he's probably, you're probably not listening to this, but I want to say thank you personally for making such a great thing. And it's been talked about by some YouTubers, it's it's on forums, and this map overall is, is uh, I know all has spoken about saying that this is his last map, his last contribution to City Skylines, and hey, if, if there's any contribution that is worthy of... Uh, you know, that's, that's a last, last uh, way to, to be remembered. I think this is a great way to do it. <laughs> you are the Pablo Picasso, basically, with this map, I think, personally. So, I do appreciate this hard work that you've put in, and I will, personally, for not only for him, but for all of you guys and for myself, will put as much effort into this map as I possibly can. And we're going to work together to build this and turn this into an actual proper city and... Who knows what else it could be. At this point, what I'm trying to do is find a water source to get into the actual sewage system. I fell terribly. I'm looking everywhere. <laughs> and then I realized that I actually have a water source in my in my hands. In my power of, of being the lord, I guess, uh, uh, governor of this city. And I did a complete... Uh, complete uh, overhaul of the walls within this sewage. It still needs some work. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. Um, there's not really much else uh, that I'm going to be working on in this episode. I think it's this is pretty much it. Episode 1, everybody. <laughs> there's a lot of... I, I know I didn't do too much talking, and that's really how I kind of like it. The, the, the less I, of that, I guess, the better. But I let me know how the speed of this was. I think it was pretty good. I think uh, time-lapse was just fine. I think uh, not too much, not too little. And, you know... Overall, I, I'm pretty happy with the progress we've made on, on uh, Project 1, and, and let me know what you think of the fact that this is a harbor slash water processing plant. How weird is that? Is that common? I don't think it is at all. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a unique map, and it offers us unique ideas that we can reproduce and do, so we've still got a lot of things to do, I'm sure that episode 2 is going to be fantastic as that episode will focus more on detailing. I don't know if that, if, um, I think Flux came up with this idea or I don't know if it was Strict Toast or Fresh Popcorn, um, but he, one of them mentioned that uh, they, the, the way they like to do it is one episode or at least I, I remember from before how it's one episode um, of actual building and then in time lapses and then another episode of, of actual detailing or maybe it was half building half constructing and then the other half detailing I don't quite know at this at this point I'm just messing about with the quays seeing what else I can do and um, just I don't know, think of some ideas but ladies and gentlemen guys I want to say I want to say thank you to all of you um, so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this episode I certainly did enjoy making it uh, I think I'll continue to make these 15 to 20 minute long videos, and I hope that's that's a perfect amount of number of uh, of time for you. But with that said, I hope you're excited for episode two. I sure am. Let me know what you think of this episode down below. Comments, like, dislike, maybe even consider subscribing. I don't know. I don't like asking for it. Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching and scouts.
I'll see you guys in the next one. And the next one! Why? I got you next one. Thank you.